Welcome to this podcast on medical applications for your smartphone. There are reportedly more than 40,000 health-related applications for cell phones and tablets. Many of them are orientated toward consumers or patients, but I will be focusing on medical applications from my own perspective which is internal medicine. Because you have your cell phone always with you, you have a truly flexible teaching or learning tool in your pocket with information available anytime, anywhere. This is ideal for both doctors and students. This is an overview of the apps on my Android, which I will go through in alphabetical order. Every doctor prescribes medication, so we will look at a drug database. There are apps to test your patient's hearing and vision. Some provide access to popular medical textbooks and accepted patient management guidelines. You don't necessarily have to have a live internet connection on your cell phone, as many of the applications download their data to your smartphone and allow you to access the information offline. Most of these applications I have used over the years, but there are many more out there for you to discover yourselves. I have an Android cell phone, but most of the apps are also available for iPhones. I'll show you some of the features of the apps and finally how you can easily find and install them for yourself. The color blindness test uses the well-known Ishihara technique of multiple colored dots to test for color blindness. This tests mostly for red-green color deficiencies, which is the most common form of color blindness. It consists of a number of colored plates, which contain circles of dots, which appear to be randomized in color and size. Within the pattern are dots from which a number of shapes are clearly visible to those with normal color vision and are invisible or difficult to see to those with a red green color vision defect. Other plates are intentionally designed to reveal numbers only to those with red-green color vision deficiencies and to be invisible to those with normal color vision. I did this test and it shows that I have a color perception problem with red and green. Hippocrates gives you a lot of free tools to use. The ones that you have to pay for have a little lock on the application. I'm going to start off looking for a drug. Let's say I'm interested in finding a drug for seizures. I know that it's, for instance, down in the neurologic section, so I'll click on neurologic, and I know that it is a seizure disorder, so I'll click down here and I'm looking specifically for Tegretol, so we'll scroll down and click on Tegretol. Now, before I click on Tegretol, uh, that was the way to find the drug if you wanted to drill down through the hierarchy. There is another way, and that is to actually just go and do a search for the drug right at the beginning. and you get it far quicker that way if you know what you're searching for. But if you want to look at a range of drugs, perhaps that uh, you need to compare, you might like to drill down. So here is Tegretol, and I'm going to click on the adult dosing section, and it gives me the doses for adults. There are a whole lot of other warnings and things that you can open up pediatric dose if you need to do that and to close it click on the little circle in the tri triangle in the circle 
once again. Let's go back to the beginning. The next thing I'm going to do is a drug interaction check to see if the two drugs that I'm planning to use on this particular patient interact with one another. So I'll click on the interaction check, search for my first drug, which is going to be tetracycline, and select it from the list. And then I also want to search for methotrexate, And then down the bottom, I click on View Interactions. And it tells me, yes, there is a potential problem. Caution advised. And if I have a look at what the caution says, the combo may increase methotrexate levels. Risk of toxicity is increased. That's a very handy application. There are also guidelines. Let's have a look at the guidelines on Hippocrates. It'll tell you some of the recently downloaded guidelines. And we'll look, let's for, say, for instance, at cough in children and say that this is a prolonged cough in a child. Uh, click on that. And it's a non-specific cough with a normal chest X-ray. Uh, a whole lot of information provided with that guideline. There are guidelines for each specialty. Let's have a look at guidelines for general surgery. Here we have guidelines for anal fissure management, colorectal cancer screening, hemorrhoids, uh, opioids for chronic pain, and procedural anticoagulation. Let's have a look, for instance, at hemorrhoids. External hemorrhoids, non-urgent presentation. Some advice is given. Notifications is quite handy because it updates you with the latest alerts from the journals. Essential points is only really available for those doing CPD in the States. Doing a hearing test is quite revealing. Do it on yourself first and try it out on your family before you try it out on your patients. This is the result of my hearing test and you can see that I have a mild hearing loss of the higher frequencies in both ears, more or less symmetrically. This is normal as you get older. I suspect that some of you will have a hearing test that looks similar to mine. Our next application is the HIV Clinical Guide. And it has guidelines a list of antiretrovirals and some tools. The commonest guideline you'll probably use is the one on antiretroviral therapy. And I'm going to look at the one for pregnant women. It's quite comprehensive. As you can see, we can scroll down many screens to get to the bottom some really nice little flow charts that you can follow. If we look at the list of antiretrovirals, very comprehensive. Uh, I'm going to click on Staviodine and it gives us the standard uh, indications, contraindications, drug doses, monitoring, all that sort of a thing. And the final one I want to click on is tools, a tool to calculate the dose for folks who have renal failure, how to monitor for ARV toxicity, drug interactions, pediatric dosing. 
the Medline tool is very comprehensive for searching medical literature. You can do all sorts of refinements and let's start off by searching for free full text only, languages, English, subjects, only humans, publication type, uh, I would like journal articles and publication date last five years. We can go and search for a topic. Uh, let's try something on hemoglobin. And there we go. A whole lot of articles retrieved. I'm going to reset that search and do a clinical search for anemia. It's going to filter by therapy. I could make it diagnosis rather than therapy. The emphasis is on precision. Yes, let's do that. Full text, uh, free full text only, and language once again English. Do a search. And there we go. A list of articles has been retrieved right on your cell phone. Medscape is probably the most comprehensive free tool that I have come across. And if you had to choose only one, this would be my top choice. It has a list of drugs, very comprehensive list of conditions, some procedures, drug interactions. You can identify pills, and I use the calculators quite often as well. Uh, the directory is really for an American uh, lookup of physicians, but let's start by looking at drugs. Its interface is a bit different from Hippocrates in that you can scroll down through the alphabet rather than drill down through a hierarchy. The conditions are comprehensive, listed by specialty. And let's have a look at gastroenterology, intestine, intestinal flukes, for instance, some lovely illustrations. Let's look at the colon just for interest's sake. Uh, and look at something like chronic megacolon, toxic megacolon. I'm really impressed by the graphics and the comprehensive coverage that you find in Medscape. If we look at procedures, again, let's tackle gastrointestinal procedures uh, and have a look at a colonoscopy. Check out their media gallery and we can see a number of conditions that they show us uh, from a large ulcer to ulcerative colitis. You can see my scrolling isn't all that good, but inflammation of the terminal ileum and a stricture in the terminal ileum. The drug interaction checker uh, very similar to Hippocrates, so I'm not going to go into that. Pill identifier uh, also will take you a while to scroll through the 
hundreds uh, of pills that you retrieve. The calculators is an aspect that I wanted to show you. Uh, and let's have a look at diagnostic criteria, irritable bowel syndrome. What are the diagnostic criteria for that? And let's see if this particular patient has these criteria. Uh, I'm going to click some of these criteria just to see if this patient qualifies for irritable bowel syndrome. So as far as calculators are concerned, let's look at an examination protocol. One that's commonly used is the body mass index. Uh, and I'm going to change this to centimeters, the weight to kilograms, and then in the height, 176, and in the weight, 70 kgs and see what the body mass index is. This particular individual has a normal body mass index. Omnio is another free, very comprehensive app for your cell phone. And we will start with the drug guide, which by now you are familiar with. And this lists drugs by hierarchy. It has Merck Manual Incorporated, which is a very handy little mini textbook on various topics. Also a list of calculators. Drug interaction checker. A handy little symptom checker for diagnosis. Let's type in a few Let's say teeth grinding, fever, uh, suggests maybe our patient has chicken pox. Another pill identifier, care for diabetes antibiotic prophylaxis for cardiac surgery, uh, CDC guidelines, a list of their research articles, and a lot of other stuff. Here's uh, a laboratory test interpretation MedWatch will give you what happened in various uh, journals as little alerts. And then a number of tools I haven't yet opened. This particular one is a quick reference guide to Omnio. Here's Zika, even got something on Ebola based on the CDC guide disease assessment risk, and so on. So some unique stuff there. Here are some outlines in clinical medicine. Uh, and this is, a, once again, a, a very quick overview of the table of contents. And there are more. Uh, and down the bottom, you can see you can go and purchase some textbooks and applications and insert them into Omnio. I'm sure that you have all used Skype for communicating with friends and family before. Skype for Business is a little bit more powerful and if you need any 
help with setting Skype for Business up, just chat to Chapa. The Visual Acuity Tester requests that you have your eyes roughly 50 centimeters away from the screen and that you push the button on the same orientation as the image. As you can see, the image gradually gets smaller. it's pretty much invisible to you and in fact to me and now I'm just doing it randomly because I can't see how small it is but it gives me a readout which says uh, I have 20-20 vision I'm happy with that but I am wearing glasses Bula is a software package that was written specifically for South African conditions where we have rural hospitals far away from the major urban centers. The health care workers in those areas find it very difficult to get hold of specialists in order to request opinions and sometimes send patients anyhow which uh, turn out to be unnecessary referrals when in fact they could have just perhaps gotten hold of a specialist opinion earlier and treated their patient better. So what you do with the software is enter all your patients into the cell phone database and when you want to refer them you just select the particular patient and tap on the new referral button which gives you a selection of specialties to which you can refer your patient. Now obviously this requires that specialists in the referral centers have bought into the system and have their details registered on the Vula website. Once you've chosen your speciality, you select the person you would like to accept your referral if there are more than uh, one uh, individuals that fit into that category. You can also search for other referral centers or specialists if you so desire and for instance if your patient happened to have burns there are tools that will assist you in calculating the burn surface area fluid replacement and other um, acute medicine type referral scenarios to help you further manage your patient you can take photographs of your patient and even record little videos if you need to. Uh, these will also get sent on to your doctor that you're referring the patient to for an opinion. If it does seem like you need to refer the patient on for a clinic visit, you can do that via the chat function. The contact details of the Vula development team are on this web page. I have made provisional contact with them and they are extremely keen to roll this out to other countries. So what they require uh, is basically a list of verified doctors. Uh, they make sure that this software is only used for medical purposes and it would be rolled out freely available. So what I would like to propose is that you evaluate the software, 
get back to them and me and I'm very happy to act as an intermediary and to help implement this system in Liberia to facilitate access to consultants and specialist opinions. Installing a new app on your Android is really simple and I'm sure you've done it many times before. You just go to the Play Store and click on the search bar. Do a search for instance for Hippocrates Once you find it, click on Hippocrates. It's already installed on my uh, Android, so it doesn't give me the option to install, but you could click on install. Once it's installed, you can then open it. Simple as that. Go the to web address for the, the Google, Google Play Store, Play Store which is, is at listed Play on this slide. Google.com forward slash store then click on the apps icon and go and put in a search term such as medical either press enter or click on the little magnifying glass and Google will bring up an enormous list of possibilities for you which you can scroll down click on and install. For instance, let's have a look at the medical and surgical procedures. I'm going to click on that and there's an option to install it on your cell phone. You can go and search for other terms. Let's see surgery Some interesting stuff. We don't want a plastic surgery simulator, but you will see there's a lot of stuff that's orientated towards consumers and not necessarily doctors. And unfortunately, one has to sift through an enormous amount of stuff to find the good bits. The web address for the iTunes Play Store is rather more complicated, but they also have an enormous number of applications for iPhones.